some of the buckets are bigger than others, though. Uh, you know, Kuso... Uh, Kuselge is sort of one of those odd terms that encompasses both weird and bad. Sometimes the games that we have here are definitely on the bad side. Some of them end up definitely on the weird side. But I, no matter what we get, they're usually games that are a little bit less known in the world. Yeah, Creptastic. Yeah, exactly. Beard games. Ooh, ooh, we could... Oh, I like that beard games. Well, everybody, let's go ahead and find out. Do we have a beard or not for the first game? Please welcome on in our GM for the first one. Do Wolf! Oh, I don't know if wolves have beards. Are they considered beards? Hello, Do Wolf. Hey, Ego Sancha, how you doing? Hi, everybody. I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing great, and I can confirm that I have a beard. But yes. that's not important. What's important is that we have an excellent game today. Okay. Excellent. Like, okay, I, I remember I actually saw this movie when I was... I, I went back to Brazil for study abroad, and I saw the movie this is based off of while I was down there. I think it was summer of 2008 or 2009, something like that. And, I mean, I guess it would have been a really easy movie to dub. <laughs> yeah, actually, for about the first hour or so, I forgot that it was in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, there's only one word that we really need to know for this movie uh, in whatever language you're watching it, and that is the word Wally. -E yeah, well, what PSP. about Eva? That word was important. Or E. <laughs> is it Eve or Eva? Or I think it's Eva. Maybe it's Eve. Eva, my name is Wally, and I love you. <laughs> that's that's what They're I remember so from the movie. Together. Why do you gotta Why do you gotta be mean to them like that? Why can't you just embrace their relationship? Eva, I'm gonna kiss you with my breast robot mouth. <laughs> <laughs> why are you being so mean to Wally? He is this perfect and adorable. Just what are you the way about? he is. This is true romance, okay? Romance is not like it's depicted in the movies, okay? In reality, Wally would probably be exactly like the way that I'm portraying him right now. Eva! <laughs> Do you want a cup of oil? <laughs> and she's like, No! No, thank you, Wally! <laughs> That's gross! It's like, oh no, I broke another person's heart! <laughs> I mean, another robot's heart. Sorry, I forget. I'm a robot. <laughs> How do you forget? <laughs> just, just casually forget you're a robot. <laughs> like, minor details. I mean, you know, I sometimes forget I'm human. Happens to the best of us. I feel like that should be something you remember. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. Depends on the day, you know? Some days, it's easier than others. <laughs> Well, everybody, we have a race of Wally happening today, and for the hour, we're going to see who can make the most progress. Uh, if somebody does make the most progress at any given point during the match, they will win. They get 10 points for that round. Uh, there may be some eliminations today. Do you remember the uh, the points that the players have I for this specific match? I believe this is a seven-point match. So nobody's going to be eliminated from this one in that case, you know? Wally's yeah. not here to... He's not the Terminator, okay? He's That's not Arnold. Disappointing. I wanted him to be the Terminator. <laughs> Can you like... imagine Wally busting out with a shotgun? Wally! <laughs> Stop spoiling the game for chat. They probably haven't seen this before. Well, I haven't either. So if that's a spoiler, <laughs> I apologize to everybody right now. Well, I mean, you haven't told them about the rocket launcher, so we're good. <laughs> Wally said, give me all your money. <laughs> oh, I love robot movies, you know? Just classics, absolute classics. Uh. No, nah, really, really, Wally was absolutely adorable. I feel like it's about as... <sighs> okay, let me think. Wally was popular in Utah, which is kind of surprising because of how anti-environmentalist a lot of the state is. Like, but 
you know, it still ended up being popular. I think people were like, well, it's cute, so we can we can go ahead and ignore those parts. It's like, but that's the I point, just Utah. Going to, I'm just going to sit here and not comment at all about Utah politics. I think that's the safest choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably right. Utah's messed up, yo. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I, I think that you know, considering that the tourism industry, as well as going and hiking out in nature, is big enough that, like, enough Utahns are like, yeah, even if I'm supposed to hate environmentalists, I gotta make sure people still show up. I mean, the, the, the Salt Lake City Valley is beautiful. It really is. For people who've never been there, it's oh, yeah. just an absolutely gorgeous place. Yeah, honestly, uh, a lot of this state is, and all over the state, like, completely different environments, you know? Uh, you can go from basically, uh, a, uh, what is it, kind of a sandy-ish desert with sagebrush all over it, then you go to a different kind of desert in southern Utah with canyons and arches, then you go up north and you get more forests and mountains and lakes up in the mountains like I, seriously if you like nature this place is fantastic absolutely uh yeah i honestly would like to get out a little bit more i i don't know i i like hiking but i'm also fat and it makes well, it a little if you, harder <laughs> if you hike you probably won't be fat for very long well, yeah, because I, I feel like I'm cause dead. It... You lose no, a lot of weight when no, you die. you won't be dying. Well, it's okay. You can die on a hike without dying in real life. Whatever. I've had scout leaders leave me for dead before. It's, you know, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> no, it, it is, these are things that shouldn't just happen. Well, I mean, they kind of did. I'm... I'm Actually, thinking about back when I was in Boy Scouts, there were a lot of times that, you know, possibly some of the people should have been uh, removed as scout leaders. But you don't do that in Utah. You don't remove them. I don't think you do that anywhere. Yeah. I don't think you do that anywhere. Well, I, I was always the slowest hiker, you know? And uh, because of that everybody was always way ahead of me and unfortunately the scout leaders were also not patient i i just i don't like when i was growing up i had some sort of leg condition i have like i just wasn't able to walk very well and mm. uh at this point in my life i'm mostly like my legs are mostly good but yeah back then you know, I think my dad started going on some of those trips because he knew they would just abandon me if he didn't. That's so sweet of him. Yeah, honestly, you know, I I think that when I was young, I had a little bit of a tough time relating to my dad. But as I grew up, he became really dang awesome. Yeah. Mm. And well, also, is, he liked hiking. So it was... Everybody wins. A win-win situation. Yeah, it looks like everyone is ready to go. Let me just yeah. rearrange my windows so they match your windows. This music doesn't sound like Wally. I'm gonna it, it go. It sounds like part of Wally. It doesn't sound like the, my favorite parts of Wally, but it sounds like part of Wally. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh. They really like the by and large theme in uh in this game. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Oh, everybody, spam all of your robot emotes. Yeah, all spam of your, your robot emotes. Spam. Emotes. If you have any Wally emotes, because we're doing the countdown right now in Discord. Best of luck to the players. Spam, yeah, robot. Wale, Wale, robot. Oh yeah, let's see if we get banned on Twitch for having for having this music. Uh, so so I did actually check a bit before handing this game out, and people regularly do speedruns of other versions, not PSP versions of this game, and don't get banned. So we should be good. Okay, good, good. Uh, if Kuso Grande doesn't happen tomorrow, you can blame Doe Wolf. 
You don't have to. No, don't blame me. Blame Wally. No, Wally's so innocent. Because, Look at him. Well, you'll blame Wally, and then you'll feel bad for blaming Wally, and then you'll forget what you were upset about, and I will get off scot-free. Well, no, he pooped. <laughs> what? Well, that's what he does. He eats the garbage, and then he poops it out. Wally bots are required to report immediately for a routine checkup. Oh God! If this was a Sokoban game, that would be so cool. Do they pop in Sokoban? Would, I actually kind of wish that were true. I kind of wish that were true. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are not starting the timer until I see movement in the first stage. So, enjoy this cutscene. How long is this cutscene? <gasps> like a minute. The other Wallies are alive. Ah. Uh... And so are the cockroaches. Well, I mean, you can't help that. Anyway, so as a modern game, we're going to start off with a tutorial. Um, so the core mechanic of this game, there's a bunch of little blue items all around. You get all of them, you open the door, you go to the next area. Yes. So it goes. Thank you so much, Donkey Clonk and Stream Hatman for resubscribing as well. Oh, wait, no, Stream Hatman for that raid. Whatever. You're cool. <laughs> We're already yeah, so in phase we, two. Ooh. Yeah, so so you see the junk pile, and if you st if walk next to it, you'll pick up a crate, and you can throw it at the target. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> this, this, this is going to look easy right now, but... um. Eventually, we're going to get out of the tutorial, and that thing does not aim. We're going to have some fun. Oh, good. I am excited. We have a we have a crouch button that also accelerates you. So, like, the fastest way to move is to be mashing that turn into a box button. And I am going to be so happy if someone figures this out. Yeah, it definitely is faster. Just... I think... No, Hayden Magellan is not doing it. Yuge, are you? Oh, I think Yuge is just learning the bit. Well, everybody's learning the basic yeah, mechanics. Yeah, Yuge is definitely already mashing the button, and that's already given him a lead, uh, which is pretty impressive to see. Now we get the jump. The jump button doesn't work. You will never convince me of otherwise. You, you're, you're seeing him successfully jump right now. It's a lie. He's not jumping. He's just falling with style. <laughs> Like, but yeah, so, so if you're not in the area yeah. where the game expects you to jump, yeah, see, you see what happened to Wizard Man's Knight. Just die it in the tutorial. Like, that that's the expected behavior. The expected the jump button just Wally doesn't... behavior. Okay. It barely does anything. Yeah, you like do a weird forward flip. Yeah, yeah, and you get like an inch off the ground and that inch is completely necessary but oh my goodness you get an inch off the ground i mean to be fair i don't think wally did much jumping in the movie so it's physics okay do wolf do you know much about physics i know a little bit about physics okay. i have dabbled in movement in the physical plane on occasion okay okay by the way, yeah, the, the team that made this Heavy Iron Studios also did SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, especially the latest release. They're the ones who did that. So, as yeah, well and, as the original. They're kind of yeah, classic like this game with movie games. Yeah, this game has actually both a PS2 and PC versions, and those versions are, I'm not going to call them good, but I'm not going to call them Kuso either. They're, they're in that wonderful in-between state where I enjoy them a lot. And a lot of other people enjoy them a lot. And maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. And then they did a PSP port. Is the PSP port, like, significantly worse? Um... Yeah, so... <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. So all of our players are not playing on a PSP. Which means they're not getting the real experience. Because the real experience, for anyone who's never used a PSP, it has a nub on it for it as for its analog stick okay and this nub do, is garbage it is complete and total garbage it is the only way to move in this game so you're like if you use the 3ds and use that little uh thing that it has it's like that but massively worse 
I, um, if that helps. I liked that nub on the 3DS, but yeah, I could see that being a bit of an issue for yeah, people. Yeah, the 3DS is, is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. But like, they basically learned from the PSP's mistakes when they designed the 3DS nub. Oh, good. Uh, I remember I had a laptop that had a nub that you could use for the mouse, and that was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I re that used to be a big thing, and I don't know why. Oh, it I don't was terrible. Know any it was trash. Like, I guess if you wanted to keep your laptop smaller and not have a touchpad, that's better, but, like, just plug in a USB mouse, please. By the way, I'm starting to see the nightmare that you were talking about with some of these jumps. Like, why is Wally a skateboarding game? Are you compl Everything should have half pipes. Hey, Magellan made it, yes! Every yeah, game- Every game should have half pipes. Yeah, um, so Wizard Man Tonight is just- So Wizard Man Tonight has to grab a box from there, then turn left and throw it at that target. Okay, and there we go, it's locked on. <laughs> the, yeah. And like, this is- a, the struggle is real. Um, in the other versions of the game, you have a right analog stick to control the camera with. We're on a PSP. There is no right analog stick. You have the L and R buttons. It's not great. I it's mean, not it's great. like Mario 64, right? That's that camera was completely controlled. <laughs> oh, I should. I mean, that camera was great things. for 1996. This game came out in 2008. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we were used to better camera controls by then. Yeah, nub out, nub. There were nubs long before touchpads. Ah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Need to check my PSP's battery at some point. You are right, Jade Strike. I, I do know this. I've put it off for a while. Just so everybody knows, by the way, we do have two matches today. After that, I plan on playing a little Phantom Abyss, so if you want to stick around and watch some of that action, it'll be some fun. What kind of fun? Yeah, I don't know. That game looks cool. I it, haven't played it myself really yet, cool. but it looks really cool. It's so good. It's better than this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go see Hello Dolly next week. Sorry, I just remembered because we started hearing some Hello Dolly music on this game. Should I know what that is? It's a musical that Wally uses the music from all throughout. Oh, cool. Yeah, whenever you hear the old school singing, that's Hello Dolly. And just okay. like that, everyone remembered I'm gay. Wow, Kyron, wow. Look, hey, 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 straight people are allowed to like musicals, too. Yeah, my dad loves them. Which anyway, is so... kind of funny because he's like this, like, muscly mechanic, dude. Uh, or at least he used to be muscly. Now it's... Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, so you guys on to the first... Uh, let's call it real non-tutorial stage. Okay. Uh, you're racing, and it's... Not too bad. You're just racing down a track. Um, yeah, I, I I really don't have much to add to this stage. Yeah, this is definitely more Mario Kart, less Wally than I expected. Oh my gosh, oh, you no. game missed, missed the ramp. How I, do you get back? I don't think he can get back. Okay, he got oh, back, oh, but oh. I don't think he sort of. It How did he what? How? Okay. How did you clear that gap? I'm upset. He should have died. He should be dead. He should be dead in a ditch. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just calling it like it is. Wally, breaking the laws of time and space. Uh, yeah, chat was asking if this is the first PSP game that we've had, and I believe it is. Uh, yeah, I believe it is as well. Um, everybody, we're getting actually... more technology here. Yeah, Mike was commenting before um, before the start of this entire Guso 6 that we hadn't had any PSP games yet, and I was like, challenge accepted. And I found a really, really, really good bad one, and unfortunately I could not get it to run on anyone else's system, and it only ran on my system like 20% of the time, so I couldn't really ha hand it out to people. Still working oh, no, on that one, I still spiders. haven't given up on it. Spiders got stuck! Wait, what? Oh, just oh, these no. ramps are terrible because they have little things on them that stop you from going. Yeah, yeah, probably shouldn't be there. Get on the street and have your picture talk. So yeah, I know the lyrics. Oh God, okay. when was the last time I saw a musical in person? Well, I mean, 
in the before times. Uh, well, it's... sure, but I'm trying to think of when in the before times. It's been a while. It's been a while for me, too, yeah. I saw something at Shades in, like, 2018, but I'm blanking on what. I love how people in the match are commenting in Discord that they didn't go light on the cutscenes, and yeah, I kind of agree. There are a decent amount so far, which I'm I'm actually kind of cool. They're not just scenes from the movie. No, they're not, which is excellent because we won't get copyright strikes. <laughs> so you say, <laughs> Dolph. So you say. I'm really, I'm really, really going to be, be going to be sad if we get a copyright strike. Eh, if we do, I'll laugh. And then I'll go ahead and try to get them to move the strike from my channel to yours. <laughs> Fair. I, I'd accept this. Not all of not all five if they also get the players. Oh. But I'll I'll take like two of them. I think that's the most I can take without getting in trouble. <laughs> so you, you guys are gonna fight have to fight over who whose copyright strikes I take. Now a prediction has gotten started everybody so feel free to go ahead and predict it still is very up in the air i mean we essentially have a tie between yugi and wizard man tonight at this point yeah, wizard man tonight's gotten into the lead because so what you have to do in this section is you have to press up on the d-pad yeah like that to find a hidden artifact in this zone and wizard man tonight found that really fast and huge is just very confused Huh. I thought that was a cutscene. Maybe this game is it just that good. It is on Wizard Man Tonight's side. I'm so confused. Because, no, uh... Because what? No, he, he definitely had gameplay when you were talking about cutscenes, and he had cutscenes when you were talking about gameplay, so maybe I'm just I confused. Might be like 10 seconds off of you, maybe? Let me refresh Wizard Man's. It seems like I'm caught up with Wizard Man's stream. He's in a cutscene right now. Yes. Okay. Well, we're good then. Okay. We were just... I'm just like, I want to make sure that I have everybody's stream in the right place. Uh, Make me nervous, Dolwolf. Let Wally do the work. Too much garbage in your face? There's plenty of space out in space. BNL Starliner. Yeah, that's right. Let Wally do the work, okay? Yeah, let's just let's just see how long it takes to get over this knee-high barrier on Wizard Man screen. This is gonna be exciting. I'm gonna bet five minutes. Can you actually jump this? I'm pretty sure you can. Oh no. There's a ramp. So if you look at the mini map, wait, no, yeah, there's some way past this. I'm trying to, how do you get past this? I'm forgetting. I'm just completely forgetting. Well, some people will figure it out. I mean, it's a Disney game. How hard could it be? We've had a lot of Disney games on this channel. <laughs> yeah, actually. We've had yeah, Fantasia like, on like this it, channel. Yeah. I feel like being a Disney game just suggests that it's going to be even harder. You have yeah, to land on that platform I, and then do another jump. That I might be bet it. so that you have to do a couple jumps in a row to get past. Come on. Nice. Nice double jump. Ooh, sweet. Yeah. So now we gotta we gotta un we gotta balance that that uh crane. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Bye. So this is the first normal level, and like, and the objective is going to be to get all of the blue crates broken, get all of those little <laughs> energy things, and then open up the next area. Sorry, I and love that this is a Tony Hawk game. Like, seriously. It's, okay, honestly, the half pipes are my favorite part of the game by far. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's actually fun. Yeah, so it looks like Wiser Man's nice figured it out, but you just had to throw objects at them. Dig it up there, and you can't. You just can't jump up. You just can't jump up. It's it's knee high. That's too high. Now more Have spiders is trying to do the double jump here. Oh, so close! Ooh, I thought he had it there, but look. But I guess he was just off the platform. This music is really good. I'm digging the oboe. I'm pretty sure it's oboe. 
might have a little bassoon in there. Uh, I can't tell the difference between all the woodwinds. Bassoon's low. Like, really low. Actually, I guess oboes are kind of distinct, aren't they? I probably what should be able to. more spiders than I expected went under one of the barricades. Oh, yeah. That's not too... That's... Oh, 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 oh there we go! Got got jump. Nice! Yes. Oh, everybody... When spiders get together, they can do anything. Wait, it's more spider than I expected the spiders? Or is he the person surprised by the spiders? Uh, I think he's... I'm not sure. I always assumed that he was spiders. I mean, I, I, I just sort of imagine three spiders in a trench coat. I just don't know if he's involved in the trench coat. I think he maybe he is the trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to say, you know, we'll, we'll have to find out more about spider lore later. <laughs> For now, though, Yuge is trying the impossible Ooh. jumps. I thought he had it, but just did not have enough speed. But, you know, this is really fat. Yuge has been a bit behind uh, due to the previous levels. Uh, but, you know, if he can manage to get these jumps quickly, he'll be right back in it. Yeah, like, they're all on the same level. It's, we got a lot of match left to play. Oh no, a vortex is blocking your way. You gotta get the crystals, okay? Get the crystals, because they absorb energy from vortexes. I learned this from Sedona, Arizona, okay? I mean, all of this makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> Like, oh my there's gosh. a vortex. You should blow up the things in the vortex. What oh. else? Would... No, I, I'm remembering. Okay. Uh, when we had the big solar eclipse over here in the U.S., we actually went camping at some hot springs uh, in order to watch it. We weren't at a place where we could see the full eclipse, but honestly, we didn't care. We wanted a good excuse to go to hot springs. Uh, so we went and... You know, it was almost a full eclipse. The lady running the hot spring place, like, was lighting her crystals up and getting ready <laughs> because she's like, this is the perfect time to recharge them. Like, okay, line up those crystals, lady. So this is, this is just reminding me of like, so I've been reading the Stormlight archives recently. And like, this is reminding me of like actual things with Stormlight archives and why are they happening in real life? You know, it as it turns out, real life is a parody of real life. I mean, I have never been so upset with something I completely agree with before. <laughs> yeah, Wizard Man, on to the next area. Um, <laughs> three hams in a trench coat. Mm. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I don't be... know, can we have one of them be a ham, one of them be pepperoni, and one of them be sausage? You know, I imagine oh, it's that a bacon. if it were if it were a leather trench coat and you, like, cooked the hams inside the trench coat, that could be good. I don't know what leather tastes like, but I imagine it would add some flavor. I mean, leather is made out of animals, so maybe it's edible. I don't know. People used to eat shoes. Come on, Doe Wolf. People used to eat shoes because they had leather. Don't think that's why they ate shoes. Well, it, the, during the Great Depression, that's why they ate shoes. Because they could. They actually had, like, something that could technically be considered edible. I don't know what Wizard Man is trying to do. There we go. Trying okay, to charge he was trying to get lasers. Ah, there we go. Oh, slot machines. Okay. <laughs> See, if I were a Wally, I'd probably just be getting lasers and lasers and lasers. I'm like, I don't want to work. I just want lasers. And I play slots Me. to get lasers. Why have lasers when you can have a shotgun? I don't care about the laser as much as I care about the slots there, you see? Just gotta play the game inside the game, you know? Yeah, meanwhile, more smarter than I expected, dealing with the completely secure uh, security code of can you play a children's uh, Simon Says game? 
The answer seems to be no. Not going well for, for him. Well, there we go. Okay. I don't know. Green, I don't remember the controls being too bad on this, but... Eh, spiders is getting it, you know? There we go. Man, I'm just enjoying Wally moving around. He's so cute. Yeah, he's adorable. I love that when this game came out, uh, IGN reviewed the Xbox 360 version and said, this may be an instance where you wait for the DVD or go see the movie again instead. Yeah, Honestly, just three... watching the game so far, it has nothing to do with the movie. Yeah, the 360 version is completely different to my understanding. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, the uh, PlayStation don't... 2 version was nominated as one of the most surprisingly good games. I don't know if I'd say that about it, but I I do enjoy the uh, better releases. Yeah, uh, PSP appears to have gotten some of the lower scores, although IGN actually gave it a much higher score than the PS3 version. Weird. And give it. What did IGN give it? Uh, 7.3, this version. They gave, like, the PlayStation 3 version 4.9, something like that. I moved I see. away from what the they, website. And what did they give uh, Fire Emblem uh, Fire Emblem 10 for the Wii again? Uh, I don't know. I never <laughs> looked this remember, up. Remember? Fire I, th em I, re I think they were, were they the ones that, like, docked? that game points because it didn't have me support there was some i don't know there were weird sc scorings are weird how do they work i don't know okay let's see uh are you talking about radiant dawn yeah they gave it an eight. Oh, okay so radiant dawn's still better than this that's good yeah just a little bit though just a tiny bit i mean I, my understanding is that a 10 is okay, a 9 is bad, and 8 or below basically should never have existed. That's, that's how video game scores work? Pretty that's sure. what I understand, yeah. Oh, I, the, I mean, this, this is better than the new Mario Golf? Oh no, IGN. The, the new Mario Golf looks really cool. I like, really I want to go I play it, I haven't yeah. played it myself, but it looks so cool. Yeah, you have to dash through the little crates. You can't laser them. Or you can throw things at the crates. Okay. Lining up the shot. Yeah, the, the one shoots. review... Th oh, come on, shoot. Yes! I think that was a score. It was a score, yeah. Good. Now he's just got to, like, get muscle his way up there through the controls. Well, that's another thing. Uh, or just yeah. break more stuff. I definitely want to play the new Mario Golf. Yeah, I need to do it. Okay, so yeah. I did find a review about this. Uh, the, the review specifically on GameZone, they gave it five out of 10. Uh, and they said after the first stage or two, players will not be able to fight the urge to scream any longer. The cool level design, which forces you to climb several platforms, is not inviting when the stiff controls prevent you from doing your job. It's a total mess whose exacerbation level multiplies every time you slip off a ledge. Why? No checkpoints. A couple levels have them, most do not. You will struggle to carefully maneuver across the most narrow platform, a task that in theory would be easier with the Dual Shock 2 analog stick, and yet nothing for your effort. Unless you're a developer who's willing to fine tune the controls to death, the PSP thumbstick was not made for this kind of a game. Multiple times in almost every stage, I made it to the very end, died, and was forced to start all over. Yeah, so it sounds like if you are playing directly on an original PSP, this is a nightmare. Yeah. And uh, congrats to Spider, more spiders than I expected. He found a hidden object in the stage, and his reward is cutscenes. So he's just stuck <laughs> watching this unskippable cutscene now for as long as it feels like lasting. You can't skip them? You can't skip them. No, that's, oh. wh that's why all our players are watching the cutscenes. 
Otherwise, I would have. Because enough that I would have just had them skip them if you can, but you can't. I and, love it. Uh, found an optional cutscene. Have fun. They are cute, but like not what you want in the middle of a race. But if, I mean, if everybody is getting all of the cutscenes, then that's fine. Go ahead and just enjoy them. However, getting optional cutscenes, yeah, that would be a little bit frustrating. But who knows if Spiders even knows if it was optional, you know? Maybe the plunger activates like a door later on. I don't know. I think it unlocks bonus things that you can like buy in the menu, but not, it doesn't. It's not going to help him in gameplay at all. Meanwhile, uh, you just super close. You need 50 total things, thingamabobs, to make it out of level, and they have 40. Yeah, so they have one little thing. So if you look at the mini map, a little blue icon on the mini map shows where all of the remaining. Uh, crates to break are so he's only got the one set left. Okay. Yeah, and he's figured out what that means on the map because I did not tell them But yeah You know I'm taking a look at this review and they talk about how frustrating it is with the controls But then they say that the difficulty is easy. I Mean I would possibly say that if the controls worked well, maybe this game is easy yeah, but I, I mean, I'm it's, getting some contradictions here. I mean, it's more frustrating than hard, I guess, right? Like the actual challenges you're asked to do are things that should be easy. They're just not. <laughs> anyway, so, okay. Okay. So you getting out of this area first, he puts him into a solid first place. Very the wizard man nice. Is right behind, and I expect spiders and Miguel to be out here in no time too. This level has been the great equalizer so far. Very nice. These platforms are wonderful. Oh, wow, they are being very nice. Nope, they're stopped being nice. Just gotta wait for them to line up. Everything's a half pipe, if you just believe. No, that's not true. In fact, most things aren't. Like I'm that sorry, crane? did you just... That was I mean, I played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Everything in that game is a half pipe. <laughs> or like a cable I can grind on. Oh my god. One gosh. of the two. The Tony Hawk games are so fun. They really are. I, I feel like... Oh. I'm trying to remember. One of my sisters, that was legit the only video game she owned when we were growing up. Oh wait, this crane is half pipes. I'm so angry. Oh, did you miss it before? Because I, I was actually joking. Yeah. <laughs> this is dumb. This is beautiful. This is I perfect. Love it. Yeah, just gonna put Wally into and mod him into Tony Hawk. Yeah. Oh God! Please, somebody do this. Please I don't have somebody. the graphical art skills to do this, but it needs to happen. Please. If there's a Wally model out there somewhere, it would probably be fairly trivial to do. Like, for people who know how to do it. Yeah. But yeah, it, it does kind of remind me of Rocket uh, Robot on Wheels. Um, that's the game that I need to play more of, too. But yeah. Actually... Uh, th so this area is just very... This actually area is very Tony Hawk-esque. Because you're just jumping off of everything. Yeah, this is like the yeah. warehouse, baby. Yeah. yeah, Wizard Man's figured out how to get onto that table. He just needs to actually do it. Uh, well, just like chat said, it's all half pipes, and that sounds like a contradiction, because if it's all half, then it's only half, isn't it? But two halves make a whole. But I... I if it's... If everything is a half, then it's only one half. How is it no, two one halves? Plus, no, one half plus one half equals one. Uh, okay. but, but that's half of what it could be. But trust me, trust, you got bro Setcha. I have math. I, I I have math degrees. You got to trust me on this one. I, have a, I know you I, also have math degrees. Yeah. So wait, but, one person has to trust the other math nerd. One man. Nah, 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 nah. One half plus nah, nah. one half equals two quarters in this case. Because guess what? We're also subtracting two halves. No. Yeah. You can't. You you take, can't there's not. 
There are no anti pipes in this game. There are no anti half pipes. Do you in this see game. any hole pipe? There's no hole pipe. There are just lots of half pipes. You only got half a level here. So they chopped it in half, and you, you take a half pipe, you chop it in half, and that gives you two half pipes. Everything's half pipes. Yeah. So they formed them out of hole pipes. I, but there are no hole pipes. There was one hole there pipe in the tutorial. There was one hole pipe in the oh, tutorial. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. Well, then that is a good example of what a whole pipe looks like. This is all half pipe. This is all half. This is all half pipes, but I I, I refuse to yield on this. Two also, half pipes equals a whole pipe. Okay, if you have five half pipes, how many whole pipes do you have? Two. No, you have no whole half pipes because they're all half pipes. But... See? No, but I could... See, no! Wolf, no! <laughs> You can't Stop. just weld them together in your imagination, little imagination You're math using brain English over here. against me in a math debate. This is unfair. I don't have an English degree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this area can... is actually really fun, I feel, yeah, in the better like versions of the game. Spiders is struggling a little bit with this area, but it does seem fairly fun. I like it. Yeah. Like this is this is my favorite kind of Kuso, the Kuso that you hate while you're playing it in a race, but then you're gonna look back on it in a couple months and like, man, I want to play more of that game. Honestly, I think uh, maybe play one of the other versions of the game. That's what I'd guess. I mean, sure, I guess that's just objectively the right move. Yeah, from from the reviews that I saw, the other versions are probably surprisingly good for being a shovelware game. Anyways, Yuge, really getting good at this, has already unlocked the next area. Very nice. Yeah, that is a pretty solid lead right there. Will he be able to hold on to that lead, though? That is another question that I'm just not able to answer right now. Uh, at the same time, he is a pretty well-known racer in these tournaments. He's done very well in the past. I wouldn't be too surprised to see him hold on to this lead. Uh, then again, I think Hey Magellan might be the only unknown entity for me. I've seen all the other players before. Uh, so yeah it, it took, yeah, it took Hey Magellan a while to get to this area, but he's already got 16 out of the 30 in basically no time at all. So like time can be made up quickly in this game if you oh, just yeah. figure out how to make the jumps. Yeah. Uh, Wizard, Wizard Man, Man only needs one more box. Close. So close. It, yeah, he needs one more box, but it is the hardest box to get. You have to line up this jump perfectly so that you land on the little side platform. Right there. Or you could just blow it up with your laser, I guess. Yeah, but you have to still pick them up. That is the hard part, as we are seeing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wally. Oh, Wally, just gotta go get the little, the little crystals. See, it is, this is totally a new age game because they're collecting crystals in order to charge up the reactor or whatever it is in this. I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll 100% allow this. Yeah. Well, good. At How least you're allowing, you're allowing something, mister, doesn't know how a half pipe isn't a whole pipe. I mean, I guess, a, isn't a quarter pipe just a ramp? Yeah, basically. Like, I guess it's a funky looking ramp, but. Ooh, boy. Yeah, so this this area is a mess. Um, you get to, now you're just climbing up increasingly narrow platforms and not falling off or falling off as, you know, whatever. It happens. I love that Essentia is popping in and saying, I have to say, I don't remember this part of the movie, and I kind of agree. I haven't recognized any of the movie yet. I mean, besides Wally, -E, and then by and large. But by and large, actually seems kind of helpful in this game. What about the cockroach? Do you remember the cockroach? Oh, yeah, I remember that little nerd. He's yeah. the best. He, okay, he's not the best character, because Wally -E and Eve both exist, but he's the third best character. All the humans, who cares? Humans aren't important. 
It's true. I kind of like the robots that go mad, though. You know? Oh no, Wizard Man, tonight you get to do another Simon Says. Enjoy. Uh-oh. Uh, he is playing a matching game. Oh, matching oh. game. Okay. I didn't... I'm sorry, I thought it was Simon Says. I mean, everything Simon Says if you just, you know, remember the locations of everything. Simon Says, you're an idiot. <laughs> That's an it. Very... I wasn't talking Try to you, though, Wolf. Oh, oh I I'm... didn't think you were. That's fine. No, I, you, I actually are, missed you are actually what you a said. really smart dude. Like, uh, I Lies, love that we can have uh, fun arguments. It's just enjoyable to me. Yeah. I, I don't know if our argument earlier was really a sign of intelligence. That was for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so chat has a theory that this is the early part of the Terminator. That could be true. I mean, Wally is throwing a lot of stuff. We haven't seen any shotguns yet, or at least I haven't. Does Disney own Terminator? I'm honestly not sure. Like, they might. I'm pretty sure they don't, but I'm... I'm... Wait, 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 I see wait. No, 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 no. I don't know if that's a response to that. Oh no! There was. Oh no! He found an artifact. There was a Terminator ride at one of the Disney resorts, I think, over in California Adventure, if I'm not mistaken. So they may own Terminator, which means that who would win, Wally versus the Terminator? <laughs> Actually, I I'm mean, pretty even the sure Terminator Arnold. could not terminate Wally. Nah, I, I think he can do it. No, he is. Wally is objectively too cute to be terminated. That's just a fact. It's just Terminators a fact. do not care about looks, okay? Because if he did, he would have married Sarah Connor instead of trying to shoot her with a shotgun. I, I mean, me, Wally's a dude. Sarah Connor is a woman. Clearly, the Terminator is gay. We just, we, we have established this now. It's well, canon. then why didn't he marry Sarah Connor's son? Well, okay. To be fair, in the second movie, he kind of did. Oh, so the son is, yeah, the I son is too married. young in the first movie. Well, non-existent in the first right, movie. Yeah, isn't born yet. He's kind of too young in the second movie too. Like, <laughs> well, like, you, you know, just have to ask permission from the parents and like make sure. It applies to local laws, you know? No, in the future, that stops being okay, and you're just not allowed to marry underage people, period. Yeah. And he's from the future, so he has to follow future laws even <laughs> in the past. I'm sorry, like, where I live, like, if, if... If you get permission, I believe you can marry a 14-year-old here, and it's really creepy. It's yeah. really, really I'm creepy. I'm going to just flat agree with this. It is pretty creepy. Yeah. Although, um, that might be a case of they have to be, like, within a couple years age, like, 16 years old. But still, if your 16-year-old is marrying somebody who's 14 years old, maybe you should tell them to wait a little while. 14-year-old people shouldn't get married. I, I feel like I can just flatly say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and veto that, okay? Anybody comes and asks for my permission, I'm going to say no. No, you absolute moron, you fool. Who are you granting permission for? Like the neighbors or something? I'm not granting have, permission. That's is the this thing. Have you mentioned your son? Do you have a son? No. Oh. I, I was. Oh well. What if I could get a cat? <laughs> are you marrying off your? Okay, I think cats need to marry before they're 14. I feel. I don't know. Some I feel like 14 is pretty old. For old. I feel like 14 is really old for a cat, but I don't really know. I don't make the laws, okay? I just know dog years. And 14 is definitely old in dog years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna marry dogs off if they're 14. I'm gonna let them retire. Anyways, <laughs> Yuge has not died on this stage. I'm just gonna point this out because this stage is impossible, and uh, I don't know how he hasn't died on this stage. Yeah, more spiders You're... than I expected is also on this stage, but th yeah, this doesn't seem like a very controllable level. It's it's not at all. You're like you have to do these half pipe jumps over a giant pit, and he hasn't died yet. 
Okay, I jinxed it. Oh, yep, you did. What are you doing? How could you Delwolf jinxing our players? What's the point of being a commentator if I can't commentators curse people? Like, Remember, like, why though, am that I doesn't here exist. It's, it's absolutely a lie. Absolutely a lie, okay? Curses do just... not exist. Counter argument, we just saw it happen. Uh, coincidence? I think so. Correlation does not equal causation, nerd. Did you learn but that it... in math school? Yes, yes we did. Well, good. How come you didn't remember <laughs> it then? Uh, correlation can imply causation. Well, implying doesn't mean causation. Yes, yeah, so we need to keep on cursing all of our players and see how, what, with what frequency it happens versus the null, versus you know, the control group where we never curse our players. Okay, okay. Who should we curse? Let's curse... I, I can't pick one person to curse. That'd, okay. be, un that'd be unfair to the person I'm cursing. Spiders, I'm giving you the commentator's curse. If it so exists, you have it now. Wow, you are doing so well on this level. Look at you go making all those jumps. Yeah. Uh, definitely gonna make it to the end of this stage. I have no doubts about it. Okay, we look at Wally's legs just jumping up. Okay, curse, Beep. curse, I'm cursing you. I'm cursing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing could possibly go wrong for Spiders now. Actually, Spiders is doing really well right now. Actually, yes. Um, he might actually just make it to the end of the stage right here now. Come on, I'm cursing you. Curse. Blah! Blah! Well... I'm gonna go ahead and say at least you can't, like, purposefully curse. Oh. I mean, we, we scienced it out, and we failed to curse more spiders than I expected, yeah. so... So, yeah. as it turns out, the commentator's curse doesn't exist. Commentator's blessing? Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> you and all of your fake... Superstitions out there. If they're fake, then why do we have them? <laughs> Got you there. I could ask that about some women in Utah, but hey. Wait, uh, what? There's a lot of plastic surgery in Utah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, not the segue I was expecting, but okay. I'm. S you needed an example. You needed an example, so I gave it I to you. You didn't need an example. I wanted an example. You could have looked out for my best interests and not given me any examples. Too bad. Is there a spike in this game? What does that mean? Like, the vampire? Like, is it death pet? I don't think so. Actually, yeah, I mean, what's the best are... way to kill a Wally? Uh, trick question, you can't kill a Wally. Uh oh. That's scary. You could even kill Arnold. The Terminator. I mean... Yeah, Yuge is currently following a red dot. I remember this part of the movie. Finally, we have plot. Yeah, he just, he just became a cat, as you do. When you're like really bored and suddenly there's something new, you follow it. Honestly, if I were living in some crappy wasteland like this, and somebody gave me a dot to follow, I'd follow it. I'd probably I'd do it sick. like in real life anyway, though. I'm like, who the crap is shedding this dot? And then, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna find the person if you follow the, I mean, usually you don't find the person by following the dot. Like well, I've seen a lot of cats try to find the source of a laser beam and none of them find it. Well, the problem is cats aren't looking for the source. They're just following the dot. See, I am a human, and I know that something is causing that dot. And I need to find out what it is. Well, if you follow it, but you, you, if you follow the dot, I don't think you're gonna, I don't think that's gonna work out for you. I wonder if you could teach a cat to realize that there is a source. Uh, Oh my gosh, and if anybody wants to do a science uh, and possibly publish a research paper, here's 
uh, how I would probably go about doing it. Uh, you have the laser go through like some fog or something so that you can see, so that the cat can see that there is a clear line. And then, you know, after doing it so much, can you uh, get the cat to realize there is a source without having the fog there? There, everybody, you're gonna do do some science for me, please. Escarina says that their uh, their cat figured it out. Okay, well, guess we don't need science after all. <laughs> well, we have science. We have science that they did earlier. We just we have past research that we can build off of. I mean, okay, I guess I'm not sure. Like two lines in a Twitch chat is. Uh, going to pass the peer review, but I'd be willing to try. I mean, I, it's a citation. Nobody you, checks your citations. I, oh my gosh. You would be surprised how often I check my student citations and find out that they're a load of crap. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually kind of actually sorry. <laughs> that just, oh, well, students. The, well, every once in a while I read something and I'm like, I don't buy that. So I go and look at the context of what they wrote. And I'm like, I can see how you misunderstood this. I'm gonna explain why it's not correct, even though it sounds correct if you just look at this specific part. Uh, honestly, that's one of the hardest things about research papers, like uh, especially when you're going and reading academic sources, figuring out what they actually say and not misrepresenting the research. Uh, misrepresentation is super easy to do, even for people who uh, know what they're doing. You can still make yeah. that mistake all the time. Yeah, I remember one of my undergrad professors always, would always say, like, the way to, read a re way to read a paper is you read the first sentence, then you read the second sentence, and then you read the first sentence again. And sometimes you might have to go back to the previous page. Well, That's, that's how it goes. You're yeah. going to make negative progress a lot. One of the papers that I was reading, uh, it, was, it was talking about uh, trans individuals and uh, sort of uh, the benefits of uh, transitioning, and which I thought was great for somebody who, uh, somebody in uh, Utah who is, from from what I could tell, very much still a, a religious individual, still talking about like. Uh, Something that isn't talked about very often here. Uh, and, you know, hey. they had one paper that they said was talking about some of the downsides there. And I took a look and it actually, like, the way that they presented it in the paper, it, it sounded like it was going to be opposition. But then I looked into the methods that the different research papers did, and they differed so much that they the two papers didn't conflict at all, as far as I could see. Uh, and I thought it was an excellent like learning opportunity to be like, hey, you're doing great trying to figure this out. Here's how these two things differ. You know, uh, just so you know, looking at these specific uh, the methods, how a research study is done, you know, can provide a lot of insight into uh, the actual results. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I was really happy about that student. They still got a really good grade despite having those flaws. You know, I, I figure in an entry level English course at the university, you don't have to be perfect. Trying is often much more desirable than having Percent something agree. that's boring. Yeah. Like, like high school generally doesn't teach you how to actually write. You're... It's unfortunate. Um, meanwhile, uh, in the actual match, spiders, more spiders than I expected, I believe, has just actually moved into lead over Huge. They're on the same level, and Huge and uh, Spiders has already found 15 of the little crystals. Uh, I love yeah, that looks everybody like... is making progress in this game. It's been good. Yeah, I don't know if Wizard Man can catch up or Miguel can catch up to Wizard Man. Um, there, there's a little bit more ground there, but for, race for first place is definitely coming in close. Hey, look at this way score count. You're getting lecturer training. That's that's something I wish I'd gotten. Yeah. 
Uh, not just been thrown into the deep end. Oh, I had a week. A week training. That was it. <laughs> and then I was I in think, the classroom. I think we were told not to sexually harass anyone, and that was the extent of our training. That's about what we got, yeah. <laughs> well, no, they gave us, like, all of this information. Here are, like, the 50 things you're going to be teaching. And we got it all in, like, the course of a week. And then they're like, yeah, you've got two classes to teach. Good luck. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, mm. that was fun. Oh, we get to see Eva. My name's Eva. I'm a robot. I mean... I mean, Plinkara is not wrong in chat. Like, I've seen a lot of opinion articles that, I mean, like, more far than in a research paper, but still, a lot of them just very much taking one quote out of context. Yeah, it's so easy to do. And uh, honestly, I'd say they're trying to understand research. It's just they don't know. They don't have the academic literacy, you know? Uh, they haven't put work into understanding research articles before. Uh, also, Tempest Rolls, you get to fly in the Wii version, and I didn't know this, and I need to track down the Wii version you now. Can Excuse fly. me. You can fly. Apparently. You can fly. Yeah. Okay. Like, all games are better with flight. It's true nope. facts. Nope. Nope. S Superman what? 64 didn't need flight. No, Superman 64 needed flight, it, but it also needed a lot of other things. Like to not be made. To be made by someone other than Titus? I mean, yeah, no, I could have. I mean, I'm sure there's a world where Superman 64 was at least competent. Not this world, but there's some world. Oh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> You know, we've had really good discussions today, and considering that Wally is a robot and was made by science, it's been good for us to talk about the ways that science works. I don't know how to respond to that. Science works through research. Yeah. Science works by people doing their best repeatedly and often failing, but then they try again and do less bad. Well, <laughs> I was just about to say science isn't an exact science, but that would be a little... I think I science itself is an exact science. Well, some of them are. Like, like math. Math is an exact science. Yeah, it's true. It might be it, though. Sorry, uh, sorry to all the chemists and physics nerds out there. Yeah, that's why evolution is called a theory, because you cannot mathematically prove it. If you could I mean, mathematically prove evolution, then it would be the law of evolution. Don't know how you mathematically prove a stochiastic process. Exactly, you can't. It's impossible. There's so we no know, such uh, thing. We know evolution happens on well, a micro scale. That we have proven. 100%, but it still is not mathematically proven, hence it is not considered a law. Nah, there's just, there's no real difference between laws and theories. Laws are just older, usually. Uh, like, usually. Law of gravity doesn't really explain why there's gravity. It just states that it exists, which yeah, is but, kind of true. And I you can, can figure prove this out. it mathematically. That's why it's a law. Yeah, but Newton's law of gravity... Like, the, the formulas Newton's came up with weren't actually right, right? They were close, but they're not actually right. On a micro scale, on smaller scales, they're right, but it gets hard when you're dealing with, like, the size of no, the universe. Everything breaks down on a micro scale and a macro scale. Things basically only work on our scale. Oh. Newton's laws. Well, okay. I don't and know, scale, I don't you know get anything about physics. Mechanics and quantum tunneling and the universe stops behaving the way you think it should. Because your preconceptions are so entirely wrong. Uh, okay. Can we talk about, like, other science, like, uh, robots? <laughs> robots are cool. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the theory of relativity is fascinating as well. Yeah, it's... Physics are complicated. Thank you for bodying me. Thank you for destroying me. I haven't had <laughs> physics classes before. Uh, and really? Am... Never? Yeah, I never have. Not even in high school? No. Strange. 
yeah, it is a little bit strange. Like, I... Wait, did I? I remember doing some physics, but I'm not sure if it was a spe physics-specific class. Uh, but at the same time, I'm a big nerd, and I do a lot of reading my on my own in order to understand things, and... I think uh, spiders and huge are at the exact same jump five minutes from the end of oh the match gosh. this is exciting so we've basically got a tie between these two players with these very slow propellers yeah just gotta time these jumps no, and spiders. spiders is struggling huge is being much more patient looks like they are going to take the lead with five minutes to go to oh my gosh i love people talking about like having uh sort of bad teachers i actually always had good teachers when i was in school i do remember getting warnings at church though they're like they're gonna teach you evolution <laughs> and i'm like well yeah i mean it's school uh yeah. my my father was kind of one of those dudes who uh actually you know, he's religious, but at the same time uses his brain. Uh, and he's like, you know, they're going to say all, you know, they might tell you in church that it's not true, but whatever, it happens. <laughs> I mean, I'm, like, I, okay, Dad. I'm, I'm generally okay with like, like I grew up in the Catholic church and generally Catholic church position on science is like, yeah, God gave us science so we can figure things out. Of course, science is going to be right about this stuff. Science isn't telling us there's no God. Yeah, it's like that's that's a good that's a good attitude to have. Yeah, and things. if we had that rather than just oh they're liars, that would have been so much better. Absolutely, so much better. Uh, I don't yeah. think, honestly, I think that if you have a faith, it needs to be compatible with science because otherwise, you're just making things up, like a hundred percent making yeah, things basically. up and denying reality. So don't do that. Yeah, see, my sister, she's religious and believes in evolution and doesn't think they conflict. Good. Yeah. Yeah. There's, Not yeah, there's anyone who tells you that they need to conflict is has a very strong opinion that you need to ignore. Well, because they don't. Yeah. If they say that, they're de denying reality. Yeah. Exactly, Tempestral. This Bible is not a science textbook. It's just, it's myths, and those myths can be just as important. Like, just... Yeah, just to let people know, when you say myth, uh, when it comes to a not, folklore I'm... standpoint, myth is yeah. basically a tale that people believe in. Uh, it doesn't yeah. mean that it's necessarily fake, per se, but these yeah. are tales that people have a strong belief in. Yeah, belief exactly. In. Like, yeah. Th there is a moral story there, and that moral story can be important to you and mean a lot to you. Yes. And... Don't let anyone take that away from you. Well, this... See, we're learning so much today. And it's all because of Wally. Wally and his, like, Roomba... Yeah, I, I really didn't Roomba. expect Wally to... To, uh... To turn into this discussion. But here we are. I here we are. love it, though. I love it. It's been a lot of fun. I think Yugi... Might be in UK, the lead at this point, right? UK is about 30 seconds behind Spiders. Oh, it is incredibly behind? close. Holy crap. Yeah, Spiders just completed that little cutout about 30 seconds ago. So everybody, those are the two you should be watching. Yeah, no, this is this is just incredibly close. Oh my goodness. Uh more spiders is also getting some of these tricky jumps. So <laughs> If he does fall in any of these places, this will open up the opportunity for Yugi to catch up. Spiders is also not using the dashes uh, by crouching all the time. If Yugi does that, Yugi could make up some time. Absolutely. Oh, but th there are two minutes left. Oh no! There, this is this is Yuja's opportunity. Yuja's Yuja's opportunity. Yuja's huge opportunity. There, I did the pun. I yeah, succeeded. There we go. It was very hard for my tongue to pull off. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, let, let's see what Yuge can do. Is it huge or Yuge? I've been alternating. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Because I, I've always said Yuge, but uh, I'm thinking Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Oh no, I think no! that's the same pit. Is that the same pit? Yeah, they just gotta admit it. They, they can both get there and get another chance at this. Uh, more spiders than I expected fell again, but yeah, it, it's not impossible. Okay, so apparently it's like bro says. It's it's you guys. Is, is what we're getting out of chat. Okay. There we go. Good Thank you, chat. Very much appreciate it. You just take oh you you guys taking his time. Um which normally I'd support, but you got a minute. You gotta you gotta hustle. Okay, they're both coming up to this to this these big jump. Oh my gosh, uh, more spiders made it they across Yugi right behind. Oh my goodness, it's this is too close. Game. If either of them falls, it is over for them. More spiders getting to the cutscene. And. Wait. Wait, what? what is there another lap? Yugi? Maybe there I are don't two know. laps. Maybe there's another lap, yeah, that uh, spiders had already done or something. Yeah. Or maybe you could actually catch the robot by going fast enough, and Yuge was just not going fast enough. You might be right, yeah. Well, everybody, yeah, there we go. that is it. That is the match. We are done. Yeah, so Spiders in a Nail Biter takes uh, first, followed closely by Yuge, then Wizard Man Tonight, and then Hey Megalion. This was excellent ridiculous. by ridiculous. Close. This was so good. Like, obviously, all of the players made it further than I expected them to. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the prediction and given the results that the right side took the victory today. I'm going to go ahead and welcome on Spiders to come chat. Uh, yeah, could you let them know the results in Discord as well? Well, yeah, everybody, this has been Wally on the PSP, a game that has some flaws, but honestly, I think it's probably mostly that this specific port of the game has some pretty big issues. And here we go, Spider showing up. Hello there. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Let me just tell you how close this was. Uh, if you would have fallen one more time, you would have lost like during the race to catch Eva. Yeah, you both started your final attempt to catch Eve at the same time. And oh, wow. You, ju you just basically moved faster and caught her first. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of a mean section. A little <laughs> yeah. bit, all those jumps. Yeah, so, you know, we had a lot to say about this game. Uh, and honestly, I think they're are a lot of differing opinions about it based off of reviews that we saw. For some reason, IGN actually liked this port. Let's talk about your uh, experience with it. What do you think of the game? So the funny thing is, I really like the, like, running chase sections. Those actually feel really good. Okay, the running chase then, sections feel really good. Then there's the platforming puzzle solving sections, <laughs> and... There's no controls there. I'm do you not, I, do you not like playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 with a, with a Wally? I I mean I like it when you like turn the direction you think you're going to turn. You asked so much of this poor game. Like yeah no there I did not expect nearly as much Tony Hawk and you have to question why then you know this would never move on to join a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> Uh, honestly, you know, we were talking about someone possibly modding uh, the PC version of Tony Hawk and putting Wally -E in there, and that would be fun. If anybody wants to do that, you know, there's a good idea for a weekend project. <laughs> I mean, just to see the board tricks. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be great. Uh, yeah, that... So, okay, the controls were an issue. What... Sorry, I just saw the next game, and I'm a little bit speechless. Uh, so talk to me a little <laughs> bit about the uh, the controls. What was so bad about them? They just didn't feel responsive. Like, it felt like about a half step off of tank controls in, in a game where mobility matters. A half step off of tank controls? I don't know, know exactly what that means, but I, that sounds I guess bad. the idea that, like, y y y you feel like you have to stop to line up for everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. If, if you try to do any of it on the fly, you just uh, launch into space somewhere, and then you have to watch another one of those terrible death animations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, 
Like, remember that... So you're pl playing this on, like, a controller, I assume, right? Uh, yeah, PS4 controller, so mostly native. Yeah, so... So imagine playing this now with the PSP's little nub. If you've ever used that in person. Yeah, I've used similar, for sure. And yeah, it's... Sounds like suffering. It's suffering. It's definitely suffering. Yeah, No Wolf had the pleasure of experiencing that, and I'm glad that I haven't. <laughs> I love my I, PSP. It's a good console. I mean, I don't know. Even with that, I'd argue this is definitely, by certain definitions, playable in something I may have tried playing at some point. Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's a fun game, definitely. I, I do enjoy it on a certain level. Um, there is actually a PS2 and PC versions that are basically identical, only strictly better. And you get camera every way. controls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, L and R camera controls really made this. <laughs> oh, come on, it's good enough for us in 1996 with Mario 64. It was not good enough. Well, right? I mean, you had it. C yeah. buttons, and you had more than just left and right. But yeah, 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 you know, they could have made it work. They didn't make it work. <laughs> so, Spiders, you've been around for a little bit, and I know that your name is something that has jumped out to a lot of people. Why Spiders? Why do you have more Spiders than I expected? So, the funny thing is, this was actually, you know, in the earlier days of Twitch, when it was much more common to, like, I guess, subscribe with, like, some joke relevant to a stream, uh, there was some, coincidentally, very terrible game being played that I forget the name of, where they had managed to start infinitely spawning spiders that were, like, crashing the world. Oh, no! <laughs> and... So I, you know, I, I went, made, made this account, subscribed to them as the running joke, and then at some point I forget, forgot to log on to my old account again and just started, like, chatting. Yeah. And everyone's like, wait, why are you still here? Why are you here, spiders? It's like, or, well, I've it got like, the flashing I... IRS that shows up every once in a while in my channel, and I'm still like... not sure who that is. <laughs> it was between that and then I end up, you know, also in another chat and it's like, well, what is wrong with that name? Why why are you here? And it's like, oh, oh it's, it's I, I love your reactions. name. It's such a good name. It's a I'll very good it. name. That's hilarious. Well, are you streaming anything else these days or if not, uh, any events that you're involved with that people should know about? Uh, streaming wise, not so much lately. I just came off of a month of actually the worst Internet uh, you could have. Oh, no! So... I mean, that happens every once in a while. Well, uh, any games that you're playing offline that you're really enjoying these days? I've been somewhere between the RPG kick of Xenoblade, or okay. I also make great poor decisions and have actually, since the start of the pandemic, been binging Final Fantasy XI. Ooh, oh. interesting. Oh, I, I need to get back to... Uh, I need to get back to 14. Thank you for reminding me to not play 11, but play 14 instead. You've also reminded I mean, me to play 14 instead. Good job. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I, I also need to catch up on 14, but I've been playing the wrong game. Eh, whatever. We all make mistakes. 11 can be your mistake. <laughs> but seriously, thank you so much. Congratulations on your victory. You've got a pretty good chance of making it into the bracket as long as you keep having playthroughs like this, seriously. Yeah, maybe one of these years I'll actually make it. <laughs> maybe! We'll see! Well, thank you so much, and Doe Wolf, thank you for giving out Wally for the PSP. I will talk to both of you another time. Take care! Bye! Yeah, you too. Bye! Well, everybody, this is Cuso Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. We have one more match, and after that, I plan to play a little Phantom Abyss. Digging into the depths of a temple, old-school exploration. It'll be fun. I'm going to run a quick ad, and we will be back to introduce the next GM. See you in a minute.